welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look right here and it's actually very it was very requested by you guys because I wore this makeup look in my 2015 best beauty products and a lot of you asked for a tutorial and this is actually one of my go-to looks I wear it a lot to work sometimes um, and just really often really because I just really love how it looks on the lids and the lip is super simple super wearable and yeah this is uh, the type of look that I really go for especially for the eyeshadows I'm, I'm just like a big sucker for warm shades and orangey browny shades for eyeshadow so I decided to do the tutorial for you I really hope you will like it and we'll just jump straight into it so I'm going to moisturize my skin with my Garnier Moisture Match Cream like a must step for me I don't know if, I'm sorry if I have glitter all over my face because I filmed a tutorial before this and I'm kind of bulk filming before I start school oh well, it's not even that I still have two weeks off but I have so much homework to do so I really need to bulk film I don't even know where that came from so yeah I just need to get videos ready for this week so I can just spend the whole week just complete my coursework and just doing homework really and revise. I already have my brows done and I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, the NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade thing and that's in Espresso. The Anastasia pencil is in dark brown and I then used the Sleek Brow Gel. I'm then going to prime my face with my Smashbox Primer Water. And then for my foundation, today I'm going to use the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. So just before I apply my foundation, I've already put some there. I'm just going to use my LA Girl Orange Corrector and kind of apply some around this pigmentation area that really bugs me. I prefer to work this in with my fingers and then we're going to go back onto the foundation bit and I'm going to use my damp beauty blender to blend that in. I really love this foundation as you all know I did mention it in my top 2015 products but it's just so good this foundation is so nice it just blends seamlessly I mean this is like my favorite foundation so like by far so I hope your year has been going well mine has been all right all right I mean I've just been having so much work to do for uni and it's actually getting a bit hard with work and then uni and then also then filming but I try to do my best because to be honest the best thing that I actually really really enjoy doing is filming that's like I just these days all I want to do is just film and like I actually really enjoy myself when I film but before I start chatting away so I've done my foundation now we're going to go on to the eyes so I'm going to take the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay and quickly apply a dot on each eyelid and I'm going to take my beauty blender and just quickly blend this and like I was saying it's getting a bit tough and oh, I don't know it's just so much work especially for uni hopefully by the like at the end of this year I would not at this year but the end of the academic year I will probably do first year uni video or vlog or something like that because a lot of you found my A-level video really helpful even though in my last year of A-level I should have probably taken my own advice but I didn't because I was so caught up with everything else I kind of slacked on um, advising which is so bad so when I'm done with blending the concealer I like to take my Zoeva Cocoa Glam palette and then I take this shade right here and I'm just going to take some of this and then apply it all over the eyelid eyelid this is just going to be a super casual video because every now and then it's nice to have a super casual video you just really want to like kind of pack that on 
kind of blend the edges as well. Then I like to grab my Anastasia Shadow Couture palette. This is like my favourite palette ever. And I first take... By the way, while you're doing any eye look, always keep a fluffy, clean brush on you. This is like my favourite one to blend. Because um, it's really nice to have a clean brush to bl blend the edges. But I'm going to take another fluffy brush and take I'm going to take Morocco. I really like this brush because it's made of goat hair and it really picks up the eyeshadow really well. Like that's just dabbing it in there. It's so good. So I'm going to take the eyeshadow and kind of concentrate this on the outer corner. And you want to really blend and bring it kind of you want to keep the edge of the brush well, as you come in, like on top of the crease. God, these eyeshadows are so freaking pigmented. I just love them so much. So yeah, uni work is getting kind of hard, especially because I'm more of a science head and I've gone and done a... Um, more businessy maths type of course but I still like maths anyways um, but I just feel like even though I did like biology I didn't think it would really serve me well for like career prospects I don't know like I don't see myself working in a pharmacy or in a lab or I just it, that, that's, that just doesn't really interest me like for me like my ultimate goal is to make my own business like I don't really have, I don't know, like I don't really, I've looked into every single thing and nothing really appeals to me. And I've done, I've worked in a lot of places like work experience and I've done so many things, not even only here in France as well and I even was like a hairdresser for three days and I hated that, even though I love hair but it's not the same, like I just, when, even though I was working at a really well known hair salon I just spent my days in the basement doing ironing and washing the, the cloaks and towels and I was doing some shampoos here and there but it's just so stressful because you don't really get a break and it's a really hard job being a hairdresser seriously especially because I was in Paris and they were really strict I'm like really packing that on there, aren't I? So I just really blend this in with the fluffy brush and then you want to take your clean brush and really blend the edges and if you think it's too harsh this helps to kind of soften it out a bit so then you want to take your clean fluffy brush and kind of blend the edges this really helps to soften the edges out and this is basically what I did for the video the other day it was really warm oh I know I did add something I took my morphe palette and I took this shade right here this bright orangey shade I'm gonna take another brush I'm gonna take another flat kind of flat fluffy brush and you want to take a little bit of this and apply that on top. This kind of warms up the eyeshadow a bit as well. It's already warm but this warms it even more. I'm just going to quickly get my eyelash curler and curl my lashes. So I'm just going to take my liquid eyeliner and I'm going to do a wing. This is like, I dread this bit because I don't get it perfect all the time. I don't get this perfect all the time, so I'm kind of like, Ugh. Oh, 
one was alright. Now let's do the second one. And then I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and clean the edges. Then I'm going to take my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara as always. And just apply a bunch of this. So while I'm waiting for my first layer of mascara to dry, but not completely, I just quickly do my concealer. I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Anti-Age Concealer in Nude. And I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my B blender and blend that out. I love it lately when I, my under eyes are super bright. I just love this concealer now. And the fact that it's so affordable is so good as well. Next, I'm going to grab my Ben Nye Banana Powder. I just love this so much. It's so amazing, seriously. I know it's on the pricey side, but I just think it's so worth the money. This is like the best powder for your under eyes. Once I'm done with my concealer, I like to grab my mascara again and then just apply a quick coat on top. But I really can't wait to do that uni video because I think I could give you guys really good advice again for if you're going into first year uni next year. Especially because I'm an off-campus student. A lot of people think that being an off-campus student is like really bad but I don't see why. I mean my brother's an off-campus student as well but I think he wants to become on campus. But the fact that, I'm not going to go into it too much but... If you don't want to be at uni, you don't have. It doesn't mean you're gonna miss out on a bunch of stuff. But I'll just talk more about that one the day I do that video. But I'm really happy that I am staying at home. I'm a really big homebody, and I just love with it being with my family and just being at home really. So then for my cheeks, I didn't really do much. I just took my NYX bronzing powder and just bronzed up my face. But I do hope that you all had a wonderful Christmas, because I haven't talked about that yet, and a wonderful New Year's Eve. And what are your New Year's resolutions for this year? I know that I don't really have many. My big goal for this year is to really try and do well at uni and also lose some weight because I eat so much. I like it's gone to the point where I just sometimes I just feel so uncomfortable with the way I dress and lately I've been dressing up really 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 sporty like baggy and trainers and although I wish I could wear like you know high waisted jeans and a crop top I think that looks so nice but I just feel like I don't have the body because my hips are so large and they, they, they then go inwards so it's very awkward and I, I get so self-conscious about it that's why I put off putting more doing more lookbook videos even though I would wish I could do some more but that's my biggest goal for this year is to lose weight because I need to lose weight these cheeks are getting ha out of hand they're so ginormous what the hell is going on <laughs> so once I'm done with the cheeks I then added some highlights and I'm going to use I can find it. I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Radiant Light and Glow. So what did I do next? Oh, I did my lower lash line. So for the lower lash line, I'm just going to take the same flat brush that I used for that orange shade and I'm going to dip it again into the Morocco. You want to just like really apply that on, on your lash line. Now 
You could use a thinner brush, but I just really like to smoke it out under there. So then, once I'm done with that, I then go in with mascara again. I need to get another bottle of Lash Sensational because I'm nearly running out. I'm planning to do a, a sister tag with my sister, but like super casual, like in our PJs or something. Let me know if you would like to see that, the sister tag. I think that would be a fun video to do. I'm so excited because I'm planning to get a new camera soon and it's just going to be... I'm so happy, like I'm so excited to get a new camera. Seriously. Even though my camera is alright, I used the Canon EOS 1200D. It was like, it's like the lower grade Canon EOS, it's like the lowest one out there. And you know like when I started my channel, you know, I wanted a good camera but I just didn't want to like spend too much on it. Because you know, you never know like, I'm not being mean or anything but sometimes you know, YouTube is not for everyone and I just wanted to see how it plays out and if I like doing it and I obviously love doing it and you guys seem to like my videos so I really want to invest in a, a good camera not really because I know there's like that mark, the um, Canon 5D Mark III oh my god I wish I could have that one day but it's like £2,000 it's so expensive but like the quality of that camera is so amazing but I think I'm going to go for the 750D I think that's the one and I think that's it, that's it. I mean it's a hundred times better than this one for sure because this one is just getting on my nerves Especially the fact that it doesn't autofocus. I don't mind autofocus anymore now, but I just feel like the quality of that one is better. And the screen comes out. I don't have a screen that pops out, so I have to plug my com my camera to my computer so I can see what I'm doing. I just feel like it's going to be so much easier with that camera. So then for my lips, I bought only two products, and please excuse them right now. They're super dry. But I'm using, right now I'm using the LA Girl Lip Liner in Natural. And then I wore my um, Charles Cosmetics lipstick in 1995. I think I'm going to have to buy a new one. I love this lipstick so much. Guys, I really want to travel somewhere, like seriously, like, I haven't been on a holiday for so long. I need to go somewhere hot, but then obviously I need to lose weight. I just want to go somewhere, like, far and, like, beautiful. Because I really, I live in a really, excuse my language, but I live in a shit area. Like, this is some bad area. I mean, it's not too bad, but recently it's been pissing me off. I can't... Like, it's just annoying. It's just, people, some people here are just annoying. Especially the younger ones, they're just super annoying and ugh. But anyways, I just want like to just, you know, relax and go somewhere nice and visit. And, you know, I just really want to travel more. I think I'm, I'm done. I'm just going to fix up the lipstick. I like to go back again with the lip liner and just fix the edges. So when I'm done with everything, I just like to take a setting spray. I'm using the Mario Badescu one and I'm just going to roughly spray that all over. And yeah, this is literally the look that I wore for that video. I really do hope that you enjoyed this chit chat, kind of chit chat video, like makeup tutorial um let me know if you would like me to do more of these types or if you prefer a voiceover but yeah i love you guys all so much and until next time i'll see you then